OK, so when we record data, there can always be human error to contend with. So what I mean by that is that when we gather data together, and I'm going to type it into a computer, for example, my hand might slip and I might accidentally type in a figure that is incorrect. Now, in some cases, um, this may be picked up uh, because it is obviously wrong. In some cases, it might not be picked up. Okay, that's, uh, but we've got to contend with that as we go. Okay? There can be cases where the data point clearly doesn't make sense. So, for example, if I'm inputting the ages of a group of people and I input uh, somebody's age as 205, then clearly that doesn't make any sense. Okay? No one has lived anywhere near to 205, so that's clearly incorrect. Now, in that case, it would be identified as an outlier and it would be an anomaly because it is clearly incorrect. Now, if an age had come up as something like 92, for example, that may well be an outlier, but is clearly within the realms of possibility, and so could well make sense. So what you need to then think about is in context of the problem, does the data point make sense? Now, you can't start second guessing uh, the data point either. So if there had been an age recorded as 205, you can't then think, oh, um, somebody's finger slipped, they accidentally put a 5 on, it was actually meant to be 20. Okay? You cannot assume that, because 20 may not be correct. It may not actually have been 20. It may actually have been 21 or something like that. Who knows? So you can't uh, second guess uh, anomalous data. And so what we do is we go through this a process of cleaning data. Okay? So the idea is that we would just discard that data point. You ignore it. And then you work with the statistics that you have left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through an example here where cleaning data is a part of the problem. So what we've got is a bowling team and there are six team members on the bowling team and We've got the summary statistics, sum of x is 270, and the sum of x squared is 13,586. And these are their ages, OK? One of the ages we know it has been recorded as 11. And the first uh, thing we need to do is to determine if 11 is actually an outlier. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to find the mean and standard deviation, mean take away two standard deviations, mean plus two standard deviations to find the upper and lower bounds of it, okay, and see if 11 is outside of that. So, first of all, I want to find the mean. So, the mean, x bar, is the sum of x divided by n, the number of data items. So that'd be 270 divided by 6, and that gets me 45. OK, so 45 is the mean age of the six bowlers. Now, as for the standard deviation, so sigma x, so if you're doing OCR MEI, you're going to have to use the, the formula for SXX, divide by n minus 1, then square root. OK, for uh, everyone else, we've got the sum of x squared divided by n, take away the mean squared, square rooted. So we've got the sum of the x squareds, 1, 3, 5, 8, 6. We've got divided by n, so 6, take away the mean squared, square rooted. So we get 1, 3, 5, 8, 6 over 6. Take away 45 squared, and it's 15.47040185, etc. So the upper and lower bounds are 45, take away two lots 
of 15.4704185. So that's 14.06. I'm going to go to two decimal places. Well, let's go to three sig fig. That's fine. 14.1. And then adding, we get 75.9. So if there are any ages less than 14.1 or greater than 75.9, then it's considered an outlier. 11 is less than 14.1. So yes, it is considered an outlier. OK, suggest so a reason why this could be a legitimate data value. OK, well, it could well be that uh, an 11-year-old on the bowling team they might be uh, incredibly good already at a young age and they're on the team. It could also be that uh, the 11-year-old the is son, daughter of one of the other team members uh, and has been, um, is learning the game as they go. Um, it's perfectly reasonable for an 11-year-old to be on a bowling team. Okay? So, several kind of reasons there. Given that all team members are required to be older than 45, clean the data and recalculate the mean of standard deviation. So clearly, the 11-year-old that we've got there, there isn't actually an 11-year-old on the team. Their age has been recorded incorrectly. And so, because we cannot assume what age was actually meant to have been recorded, we must delete that bit of data from the set. And so for that, what we need to do is we need to recalculate the summary statistics. So we now have, because we've got rid of the 11-year-old that was, didn't actually exist, we're now down to five team members. So n is five. Now the sum of x, sum of all the x's, will be 270, take away the data rate item that we know is wrong, so we take away 11. So that would get us back down to 259. The sum of the x squareds, well that's the 13,586, take away the 11 squared that has been recorded incorrectly. So that gets us to one, uh, 13,465. Okay, so this is the new summary statistics. So now we can work out a new mean and a new standard deviation. So the, the mean is the sum of x divided by how many there are. So 259 divided by 5, and that gets me to 51.8. So that's the new uh, mean age of the five remaining team members that we know haven't been recorded incorrectly, or we assume haven't. And the standard deviation is equal to the sum of x squared, so 1, 3, 4, 6, 5, divided by n, which is now 5, take away the mean squared, square rooted. So 1, 3, 4, 6, 5, divided by 5, take away 51.8 squared, square rooted, and that gets me 3.12 to three sig fig, okay? Much less than we had before because uh, the majority of the data clearly was uh, around the 51.8 data value. It's close to it, at 3.12 average away from it. And that 11 was way away from the rest of the data as identified as it being an outlier.